It's a racket sport that combines elements of badminton, tennis, and table tennis. The game is called pickleball. It was invented in the mid-1960s as a children's backyard pastime. But today, it's a growing sport that helps the young and old live well. This is where you can find Terry and her pickleball partner every Wednesday. The two are among dozens of people who play the sport as many as six days a week at the Reuter YMCA in Asheville. Oh, oh, oh. taking advantage of an old lady. Terry says after having major knee surgery, she isn't what she used to be. That's why pickleball is perfect for people with limited mobility. Mostly it's like if I have to run up for a short shot to, to try to grab something, I can't bend as much. But I get just as much exercise, if not more, than when I was younger. Yeah, Tootsie Lemire learned about pickleball after injuries sidelined her tennis game. And I knew that this was a little bit less strenuous on your knees, your whole body. So I'm like, it's the next step. She was a key player in bringing the game to the Y about a year ago. It gives her joy to see new players grow in confidence and skill. That's the best part, is watching beginners just progress and beat me. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of the fact that I'm still doing as much as I am at this age. At 70, Dave says this game is also perfect for the active aging community. I like to especially tell my age when I'm playing against somebody that's about 25 and we've just beaten them and then I remind them that I'm 70. It's about um, teaching people that even if you're overweight, out of shape, old, young, you can get out and play. Joanna Michael is a North Carolina pickleball ambassador. She travels throughout the district teaching people about the sport that she says can change lives. Oh, oh nice, good. A very good rally. Three years ago, I had hip surgery, gained a lot of weight. I've lost over 60 pounds. Wow. Through yes. pickleball? Through pickleball, um, diet, and ma mainly pickleball. Joanna says the sport is growing in Western North Carolina. If you have injuries, any any health issues, it's it's a great way to come out and become healthy and off the couch. And you know, News 13's Larry Blunt plays yes. a mean pickleball. I That's understand. what he says. He <laughs> comes in tired and tires oh, yeah. pickleball. Well, you can find the game at many clubs or community centers. Planning is even underway for a tournament this year at UNC Asheville. And the game has <laughs> nothing to do with pickles. According to Wikipedia, the inventor's wife called it pickleball, referring to a pickle boat where oarsmen were chosen from leftovers of other boats. So, so like, kind of like a mixed leftover bag. Leftover from other. Yes, from other. The yeah. ones who weren't so strong as So this is leftover from tennis, leftover from racquetball. And badminton. Yeah. Yeah. Well, remember, News 13 is hosting its second annual Live Well Expo. Join us one week from tomorrow, March 28th, at the Western North Carolina Ag Center. From 9 to 5, there will be free health screenings, cooking demonstrations, and entertainment. Admission is free.